Hey you guys, so it's me Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I'm out here with the puppies and I'm um, just starting to figure out how I'm gonna separate everybody. I think what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna call um, a tree guy that we know, Reese knows, and I'm gonna have this tree removed right here, this this dead tree right here. And, um, and then have, I think everything trimmed that's, um, that's near this fence line here. And I think, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm thinking about taking down this fence here, but at the very least, I'll connect some kennels here like I was gonna do across this fence line and I'll move, I think I'm gonna move this um, this spot here, this kennel here, I may move it in here, but I'm not sure yet. So, um, but that tree for sure has to come down first before I'm willing to move anybody here. But anyway, I'm gonna, I need to separate these guys now. Um, they're just, they're getting too big. And um, I'll probably do them, really Batista? He's not liking Preacher over there. I got him looking at him. Well, he just dug down. So anyway, so um, this is the work that we did. I've, I've got all my chicks right here. This is why I haven't been uploading. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got my chicks right here. And then I've got the dogs here. Which, um, I actually really like this setup. I mean, I, so far I've liked all of them. I'm like, I really like it. I do. I don't know. But, uh, this would not have been possible in the amount of time we did it if I hadn't had support from, uh, from friends. So, I'm really appreciative of that. Um, yes, we still have Lady here, but no, we're not keeping her. Um, you know, um... If I ever sell this house and move and get more property where I could have more dogs, then then I could start my own program. But unfortunately, at this point, if I can't have like a legit program, I just I don't want to do it. And um, hey, my Mordigan's a punk. Ladies, look at that. You see that intensity from Mona there? That direct eye contact. They don't like each other. See, steady eye contact. Nirvana. Leave him alone. Ouch. Out. <clears throat> Nirvana. Get. Don't, don't be rude. Don't be pacing around. Get. Don't be pacing around their stuff. You go. She's like, that's my man. That's my man. Mona's like, nope. No, it's not. Mm. Yeah, they got a bone to pick. See, Nirvana's knocking and Mona is ready and willing to open the door. Mona. Mona. This is, um, this is Venom. Looking fantastic. What's a big dog? What's a big dog? Hey, pretty boy. Hey, pretty boy. Yeah, he's looking really good. <sighs> I've got um, Hefe in here with Zoe just temporarily while I'm feeding everybody. Um, and we've got Don Juan and Sookie in here. So these greats are not going to stay in here. I'm going to be contacting Vicky. We're going to be getting these plastic hog panels that go at the bottom and then we're going to cover it with turf. And then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put in. A, I'll put back over. The, they'll they'll have a tarp covering the kennels again, as well. I think I'll do something like privacy panels across the back, just to um, prevent them from uh, from being antagonized. If anybody was to, you know, try to mess with them or anything like that. What are you doing, Don Juan? So I also have more kennels to put up. 
This isn't really Hefe, just like his father. Always up on the kennel, or up on the, the doghouse. He always gets as high as he can. Batiste is the only one that does that right now. So far, Hefe hasn't learned to put his front feet on top like his father, but he does get on there. Look at that structure on Suki. And Suki is like thick. She's like thickums. And attitude. But, um, but yeah, but I do have more kennels over here to put up. And we'll figure out where to put those. Like I said, I think, ah, get out of there. I think that my best bet is not to go that way um, or even to utilize the back, but to come this way. So that's that's my goal. Um, but I think I'm going to have to take down. Really, Preacher, get up, you nasty dog. Get out of there. Um, I'm going to have to take down this fence in order to do that. Which, I mean, it really is like a... Um, I mean, it's nice to have continuity between that, that fence and that back area there, but um, aside from that, my property actually goes much farther over. So, um, so anyway. Well, I guess I'm gonna get back to it. Um, like I said, I got a lot of work to do. Oh, and I'll show you the coop. I haven't, I don't think I've shown you guys the coop I moved. The chicken coop. Here's the puppy area. This is, um, I don't keep them outside <clears throat> like this whenever I'm not home. But this is where I have them outside when I'm working. And I, and I want them to be able to have some outside time and get to be puppies. I need to take their stitches out today. So here's all my chickens. And now that I've got them over here, they've started to lay again. Not a lot, but a little bit. I think um, they weren't in their coop before. And I built it. Well, actually, Savannah built it. Congrats to her. But um, anyway, it was built, but we hadn't put it in yet. And, um, and so anyway, so... Whenever I knew we were going to move the um, kennels over, I knew I needed to move the coop. And so I um, I went and put this together and I, it has more of, like, more of an expansion pack on it um, to make it bigger. And so this is what they have. And, um, and I'll end up putting a, I've already got tarp over over their coop, it, coop itself because I didn't want them using it to jump out. I do already have one hen that still gets out. But um, <clears throat> but anyway, but I'll end up putting sand down. Sand works really well. Um, we learned that with the with where it was on the other side. So. Um, so anyway, but yeah, they're looking, they're looking Really, Blondie? I've noticed a distinct change in Blondie's coloration. Um, she, when she was a puppy, she was this color. She was super duper duper light. And then um, she got older and her, and her coat went really golden. And I've noticed recently that her coat has gone back to a really, really light fawn. It's not... It's not the gold anymore. And um, I was like, that's interesting. I wonder why. What's up, big dog? What's up, big man on campus? He's a preacher and a preacher man. What's up, big dog? What's up, big dog? What's your big old dog? You the big old dog? Oh, well, I gotta, I still got these other two pups I gotta feed over here. These, um, I've gotta feed these two, um, hmm, somebody got beat up. 
I wonder what that was. Hmm. Mm, this lady messing with <laughs> messing with venom. I kind of thought something like that was would happen, and I kind of hoped it would in the sense that that she would kind of um, like keep him in check, because he can be a bit much. Look at Batista. Look at him. And look at a preacher. Batista hates preacher. Can I help you, Mother Hen? Can you guys believe that she's already laying again? She's already been laying eggs. She is so reliable, it's ridiculous. I've got, I'm, I've got one hen over there that's like producing eggs, maybe two, because I'm getting like one a day over there. And she produces one a day on her own. <laughs> and she's replenished my flock, like literally single-handedly. She is a trooper, man. She is worth her weight in gold. That is one heck of a chicken right there. Well, all right, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna get to it. So y'all have a good day. It's so beautiful here. the The breeze is just going. It's like 70 degrees. It's fantastic. And the leaves coming down. So uh, <clears throat> really, lady. I wonder why she got mad at him. I wonder if it's over the food bowl. Hmm. Well, I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to have to take him out of there because Lady, Lady ain't going to tolerate it. I may need to put her in with a dog that um, won't tolerate that out of her. That may be the answer. Anyway, all right, we'll see. We're going to shuffle them around, see what's going to happen. So, bye.